<laughs> oh man. Were you remember what happened to Oh dude. Uh, that was so funny. He was so drunk. He was like uh, three sheets to win. That boy was off yeah, his he rocker, is, boy. He barely had it. I mean, just I fucked I don't even know if he was ever even on his rocker. Boy, he was all hammered. Yeah, you can't mi mix suck. that milk with whiskey. Yeah, that's grown. He was trying to make me win on his rocker. Put him tape. Wow. What's up, fellas? Nah, nothing. What's, what's going on in the news? I was thinking of some interesting stuff to say about Bianca during my intellectual debate tonight. Well, intersexual is there any way that I can help? Shatter, how could you possibly help me? Are you kidding me? Shatter's a man about helping things out. I mean, I used to... I... Bianca... Yeah, she was a fan. I started drinking because of her! Shatter, you're absolutely right. You gotta help me with this. You, uh, you might want to get me some coffee. Get you some what? Coffee. Some who? Kathy? No, not Kathy. Coffee. Starbucks. Uh, Kathy Starbucks? I don't know any Kathy Starbucks. Coffee. From Starbucks. You might also want to grab my... You mean coffee? You want to have... Who's having coffee mats tonight? No coffee mats, no. dude. Talk about coffee. Adults drink it. Business ladies such as myself drink it. You get it. You come over here and help me come up with some hilarious. Wait, wait. Are you sure you, you want a beer, right? No, no. Well, I'll get you a beer. The following contest is a steel chairs match. Yeah! Where our chairs are completely legal. Entry first. Inhaling from Atlantic City, New Jersey. In fact, Jersey Dump! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sane Show. We are about to see now a steel chairs match between the Jersey Devil and Captain Vincent Zarello. As it was said by our ring announcer, steel chairs are the only method of weapon here in this one. There are four chairs surrounding in the ring in each corner as the Jersey Devil makes his way to the ring. And wait a second, he's stopping, he's turning around. He's headed downstairs, what is going on here? And here he comes again, this time with a steel chair. The Jersey Devil seeing the weaponry in the ring and deciding to free arm himself. So now we've got five steel chairs involved in this one as the Jersey Devil comes armed and equipped with a steel chair for this contest. And now we await the arrival of his opponent, one half of the team champions, Captain Vincent Torella. Now making his way to the ring, hailing from Norfolk, Virginia, and one half of the team champions, Full Mill Jacket. It's Captain Vincent Zarello! This ought to be an interesting match, ladies and gentlemen. These two men have quite the round rivalry going back to last year when the Jersey Devil burnt off Captain Vincent Zarello's face. And tonight, these two men are going to wage war against each other with steel chairs just two weeks away from the three-team WAW Team Championship match at Annihilation, where the champion's full metal jacket will defend their gold against the Cult of the Dead, Gino Diomedes, and Carnage, along with the former WAW Team Champions taking their rematch, Asylum. We are having a back and forth here between Zarello and the Devil. As we await this steel chair match to begin by the Jersey Devil's got one set up in the ring and he could be looking to springboard out of the ring. He does, and he gets met with a chair as he hits the floor. Captain Vincent Zarello hucking that steel chair out of the ring at the Jersey Devil as he came flying with the leap of faith off the top rope to the floor. And Captain Vincent Zarello takes a swing and nearly falls over his steel chair and again, and again, the Jersey Devil continuing to move out of the way 
as Captain Vincent Zarello swings that steel chair, and he gets it kicked right in the face, and Captain Vincent Zarello falls. I'm contemplating doing something obscenely stupid. What is this? Oh, steel chair on steel chair, as the Jersey Devil flips with that chair placed behind his legs, landing down chair on chair on top of the, the chest of Captain Vincent Zarello. Throwing Zarello back into the ring. We've got quite the night planned here on Aftermath. We got a debate coming up next on who is the bigger, I don't know, skank, slut, hoe, whatever it is, between Moody Star and Bianca Wild. That ought to be interesting to see those two vixens battle it out verbally in the ring. We're also going to see the kendo stick match between Gino Diomedes and Rocco. We're also going to see a finishers match between Paul Clement and Troy Garbo. Plus, a dog collar match and a six-man Texas Tornado Rules match here tonight on Aftermath. The dog collar match will be between Major Morpheus, Maritzi, and Carnage. Meanwhile, the main event will see Sane, Sopel, and Staples against Effo. Flax and Phoenix, and the Devils up on the top, double stop down across the back, as Captain Vincent Zarello was laid out across the steel chair. Drop toe hold sends the Jersey Devil down into the steel chair. His head is in between the seat of the chair and the back of the chair, and Zarello is now picking up that chair, shaking the neck of the Jersey Devil now bouncing him into the rope that cannot feel good on the neck. Going for the walk of the plank. Yes, he does, and the Jersey Devil comes down. He gets whipped in the eye with that chair leg as he came down. Now that certainly could have felt good, or that stop to the steel chair as the Jersey Devil is down on the mat here in this steel chair's mat. Throws him just first right into the brick wall with a steel chair sandwiched in between. The Jersey Devil is down, and Captain Vincent Zarello is squarely in advantage here. Sends him now into the ring, throwing him in. Zarello now setting up a steel chair. What's he got in mind for the chair here and the Jersey Devil? Sitting the Jersey Devil down in that steel chair, clocking him right in the side of the head one more time. Off the ropes, and the Jersey Devil rolls back. He's got to roll a complete shot down on that steel chair. Zarella now reverses the Irish whip. Jersey Devil now off the ropes. Spinning back elbow using that steel chair as a catapult. And again, without the steel chair this time, what do we got here? Scoop slam. And Zarello is down. And the Jersey Devil is now calling for a trip to the top, the top rope. Jersey Devil up and corkscrew headbutt. Landing it down squarely into the chest and chin of Captain Vincent Zarello. Something a little different. Jersey Devil now setting up that chair and it looks like he could be going for the ending here. Could be going for the New Testament. He's got Zarello. He's got him hooked. Could it be New Testament onto the chair? No! And Zarello seats him back into that chair telling him he told him to take a seat. Zarello now has got the steel chair and shot right to the skull. Jersey Devil trying to get those hands up but he caught most of that one right square in the skull from Captain Vincent Zarello. <laughs> Time to end this. Zarello now, boot to the midsection. He's got two chairs set up. He's got the devil up on his shoulders. Could it be? Drop size onto the chairs. Oh, the chairs do not give. Zarello goes for the cover. We get the count and we get three. It was pretty academic on that one, ladies and gentlemen. A cap size into two steel chairs set up for seating. And Captain Vincent Zarello takes a big victory here in the final edition of, well, it's the same show, but it's the final edition of Aftermath before Annihilation. 
Now wait a second, Torello's got that steel chair. Oh, and a shot right to the back oh, of the head. No, of the Jersey know. Devil. I don't believe it. And another oh, shot to the back. This match is over. And Zarello continuing the attack with two more steel chairs. And again, three shots there. Red guy trying to stop Zarello from hitting him. Zarello's actually asking for one more, but takes it instead. Wait a second, here comes Rocco. But he is met with Captain Vincent Zarello, who's got a steel chair. Rocco wants to get in the ring, but he certainly doesn't want to get abused with a steel chair. We've got a stand up. Wait a second. We had a standoff until Major Morpheus Morenzi came running and attacked Rocco from behind. Zarello's got the steel chair. Rocco is down. Wait a second, what do we got here? It's Gino Diomedes. Gino Diomedes in carnage, making the save for Asylum. Gino and Rocco will do battle later on here tonight in a kendo stick match. Gino telling FMJ to kiss those team titles goodbye. Gino now, along with Carnage, helping Asylum up to their feet. What a show of respect here from the cult of the dead to Asylum. Wait a second. Now we got ourselves a face off. Wait a second, Gino's got Rocco in a headstone. What the hell is going on here? Gino's telling Carnage to give a maximum Carnage to the Jersey Devil, and he's gonna do it! What the hell? No! No! Oh, maximum Carnage! What the hell is going on here? Gino's got that very old and familiar sinister glare in his eye. You just saw it there. Now he's ordering Carnage to follow him out of here. This is an awkward turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. And we go from this confusion to our next contest, which will be coming up very soon. It is going to be the debate on who is the bigger skank, Moody Star or Bianca Wild. And I can't believe what just happened here. <laughs>